Hello, Victor, Luis, Mario, and Janet. How are you doing? Is it raining? Is it raining where you live? Here it's raining, so I hope that we can develop the class um, like normally, so we don't have to reschedule any class. So thank you for being on time. We will um we will start. I guess that you are there because I do not hear any response. How are you doing with the platform? I'll give you time for you to become available so we can start the class. Okay, Marlene, thank you for letting me know. I'm sorry that you are in that situation, but thank you for letting me know. So it means that you will not be able to participate, just listening. Okay, thank you, Marilyn, for letting me know. Hello, teacher. Hello, Magdiel, how are you? Um, no, I bad. Uh, I'm driving. You driving? I have been driving on Los Chorros Street. Oh my God! And it, it's raining too. So I guess that the traffic is heavy. Yeah, it's terrible. Okay. But oh. I, I, I'm going to start. Listen. Going to be. Yeah, listener, listener. Okay, so I see Mario said that it's raining heavy as well. Abigail uh, is in traffic as well. Oh my God. And Carlos Humberto is in the traffic too with rain. Oh my God. What am I gonna do today? <laughs> Okay, so I'm sorry that you are still driving. Thank you, everybody, who let me know that you are not able to participate because you are in that situation, you're in traffic, you're driving. And on the top of that, it is raining. It's raining here, too, in Santa Tecla. But, um, well, I'm going to continue with the class. So thank you everybody for letting me know that you most of you are not able to participate. I'm going to start with a reading uh, that is in our material. I'm going to read for you. And if you listen a new word, maybe you can tell me or you can ask for the meaning. I, I want you to drive safe. Um, like four of you are driving in traffic and it is raining. So thank you for letting me know. We're going to develop the class as normal. And if you have a um, need to watch the video again, uh, go ahead and do it. You have the playlist um, link. I tienen el link de la playlist por si necesitan hacer un review de la clase ya que pues la mayoría van conduciendo aún y el tráfico este día creo que ha sido similar a un tráfico de viernes y pues me reportan eso y plus eh, Marlene que está en un funeral so well it's um, es un poco atípico pero bueno vamos a seguir eh, espero que lleguen con bien a casa gracias por conectarse por su responsabilidad y compromiso eh, los que puedan participar, pues bienvenido. 
y los que no, pues no se preocupen, manejen seguro y déjenme saber cuando ya eh, estén disponibles. Eh, ok, so, igual, con lo de la plataforma les quería mencionar, la mayoría van al día, pero todavía hay un par de personas que no han hecho ni la sección 1. Así es que igual vamos a desarrollar los ejercicios que no quedan de la sección 3, ya que pues el día de hoy finalizamos con la sección 3 y vamos a iniciar la sección 4. Eh, in the meantime, vamos a compartir pantalla y vamos a revisar estos ejercicios que nos quedan de la sección 3. Si alguien puede participar, eh, es, es bienvenido, ¿verdad? Y si no, pues eh, ya con sus confirmaciones de que están en tráfico y algunos pues nos está creando dificultad el ruido de la lluvia, eh, se comprende, ¿verdad? Nomás que puedan, eh, pues, eh, bienvenida a su participación. So I'm going to start sharing a screen. I know that in the previous classes we have been um, discussing the uses of the past auxiliaries, like, for example, would, could, should, plus have, plus the verb in past participle. And we learned that this is used um, to talk about past situations that we would like it they to be different, but we cannot do anything, right? Just to give suggestions or to express remorse. And let's see. So we have this uh, homework. La 3.5 es específicamente sobre ese tema, eh, así que pues vamos a tratar de resolver y pues los escucho si alguien pues puede participar. No se preocupen los que van manejando, es, está bien que solo escuchen. Voy a leer y pues si alguien eh, puede dar la respuesta, that's ok, y si no pues vamos a estarles ayudando y recuerden que tienen el, el enlace de la clase por si necesitan um, hacer un review y repasar eh, lo, la parte que se vayan a perder. Mm -hmm. They should not have taken. The bartender, it is negative, should not take that bottle of wine without permission. What is the answer? Should not have taken. Should not have taken. Aha, uh -huh. that sounds like good answer. Now the servers would be in trouble if they had been late for the meeting. Would would have been. Would have been excellent. Thank you so much, Luis. Would have been. Now you should ask the manager for a day off. Should have, should have asked. asked. Should have asked. Okay. Asked. Now the cashier should not take that money from the register. Should not have. Should not have taken. Excellent, Janet. Should not have taken. I should call to let the manager I was sick. Excellent, Mario. Thank you so much. You should have called. So we got all the answers correct and we got 20 out of 20 as a grade. Let's check the next exercise. It says we need to match the words to their meaning. Let's see if we can do that one. I think that we haven't covered this yet and we will cover that today, but let's try to guess. The way someone acts, yes, we did that one before. The way someone acts, means reassure, behavior, theft, way of spooky. Behavior, ajá, comportamiento. Behavior es la manera en que alguien 
actúa. Excellent, Catherine. Thank you so much for writing the answer. There's this behavior. The action or crime of a stealing. Theft. Good. The amount of money paid to an employee. Waste. Excellent. Something that causes fear or nervousness is? I think that I heard Mario say this one. Okay, thank you so much, Mario. Now, to remove someone's doubts and fears. Yes, for sure. And we got the 20 out of 20. So remember, the number one, the way someone acts, behavior. The action or crime of stealing, theft. The amount of money paid to an employee, that's waived. And someone that causes fear or nervousness is spoken. To remove someone's doubts and fears, that is reassured. Yes. Now we can move to the last exercise on section number three. And uh, this is, it says choose the one you know is the proper one to use in each sentence. Mm -hmm. I see that we can, uh, this is about comparatives and superlatives. We have studied this before. So I guess that we can do it without any problem. So number one, it says we have an more old or older brother who lives in Miami. More old. More old? Older. Older, uh-huh. Because old is the una sílaba, and it's the una sílaba solo e -e -e, older. We have an older brother who lives in Miami. Now, her illness is more serious or most serious than what the doctors expected. Most more serious? Okay, let's go with that one. I like warm weather. If the weather is more cold or colder, I get sick. More cold or colder? Catherine says colder. Thank you so much, Catherine. Now, number four, this dress is more beautiful or most beautiful than that one? I heard someone said more beautiful and Catherine right? more beautiful. Let's check that one. Thank you so much. He is... More rich or richer than Arthur? Richard. I heard Mario said richer. Excellent. And yes, uh, let's say yes. Rich is de una sílaba, rich. Cuando son de una sílaba, er, and that's it. Now we have, remember number one, older. Number two, more serious. Number three, older. Number four, more beautiful. Number five, richer. Mm -hmm. 
Espero que hayan hecho las, eh, los ejercicios eh, a este mismo tiempo para que puedan avanzar. Recuerden que los, el, el avance se chequea pues cada jueves a medianoche es, eh, hay una uh, auditoría para el día de mañana tener ya actualizadas las notas. Así que pues espero que vayan trabajando todos los ejercicios que se puedan en la plataforma y recuerden si tienen algún problema para solventar alguno de ellos, pues eh, estamos eh, nada más a un chat de distancia para poderles ayudar. Así es que no hay excusas. Y ya vieron, son los ejercicios son súper sencillos y cortitos, así que traten por favor de avanzar para que pues no vaya a haber ningún inconveniente al momento de finalizar su módulo. Ok. Any questions so far? Y también recuerden que pues ya nos van quedando pocos días de clase. Para terminar, entonces, eh, si hay algún tema que necesitan en específico que haga repaso o quieren ejercitar más, eh, me lo pueden hacer saber. Hemos estado viendo los eh, comparativos, superlativos, eh, los past models y en la sección 4 vamos a cubrir el futuro. Entonces, bueno, si hay algún tema de eso, no sé si me lo pueden decir ahorita, si quieren que hagamos algún repaso en específico. O me lo dejan a que considere que les puedo poner como repaso. Me lo pueden hacer saber. Eh, durante la sesión pueden escribir en el chat también o me lo pueden hacer saber por WhatsApp. Eh, vi un poquito de algunas cuantas, escuché que me hicieron pensar en los comparatives en superlatives, but you tell me. Ustedes me pueden decir. Uh, yesterday we worked on page 30 of your material, so right now we're going to continue on page 31. And here we have a reading exercise. Uh, we are going to discuss the advantages of employee surveillance programs in restaurants, identify key information about the advantages of employee surveillance program in a reading passage. And yes, the reading passage is the one that we have in exercise number two. And the instruction is read the following passage about surveillance technology. Who wants to read the first part of a paragraph? Tenemos el párrafo dividido en tres partecitas. Who wants to read the first one? A volunteer to read. Sí, teacher. Thank you, Liz. Most, most of the public discussion of silver lines technology and is use revolves around the questions. Is it spooky or real shooting? But a different use, you see, issue. Is the issue? Let me, lo voy a hacer un poquito más grande, ya que leímos las instrucciones. Okay. I think this is okay. Okay, continue, Luis. But at but a different issue is the effect of surveillance on behavior. And then a new research paper shows in details how significant, significant the surveillance effect can be. The researches, researches measured the impact of software that monitors employee level. The sales transaction before and after the technology was installed at 392 restaurants in 39 states. 
Okay, thank you so much for helping out with that one, Luis. Uh, volunteer for the second paragraph, the second part of the paragraph. Employee theft and fraud. No volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Carla. Uh, employee theft and fraud is a big problem. Estimated at up to 200 billion. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. And here, across the economy, most of the restaurant industry pays in service low wage and they depend on teams. Employee replacement? Replacement, uh huh. Re okay. Tense is high in that environment. 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 Tense uh -huh. Environment and certain amount of this has long been re regarded. Re regarded. Is correct. Uh -huh. Recorded. Recorded. Okay. Tense as as a normal part of the business. A simple sample is a bartender not changing for a round of drink. And you ring the customer to take care of me. We are with a large tip. Other ta tactics are more el elaborate. Great. Okay, thanks. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you so much for reading, Carla. A volunteer for the third part of a paragraph. Catherine, thank you. But monitoring software is now available to track all transactions and detect suspicious patterns. After the installation of the monitoring software in home for restaurant increased by an average of 2,980 uh -huh. 982 a week. Knowing they were being monitored. Wait. Monitored. Monitored the servers, not only pulled back on any un unethical practices, but also channeled their efforts into say prompting customers to have the dessert or a second beer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you so much for helping us reading. Now um, about this reading exercise, we have to discuss the answers to these questions. Why do people think surveillance is considered spooky? How many restaurants were part of the research? What is the estimated cost of employee theft and fraud? What is a fraud tactic used for by bartenders? What was the increase of income after the installation of monitoring software? And what was the change in behavior in the staff after monitoring software was installed? So we need to discuss the answer to these questions. Most of them are in the reading that we just read. Is this part? Most of them. Uh, let me make it smaller. Remember that is this on page 31 of your material. Eh, si quieren trabajar desde ahí, desde su material, está en la página 31. And uh, yeah, so for now, we're not going to do it. This is in pairs, pero como pues ahorita tenemos problemas por la lluvia, el tráfico, eh, no lo vamos a hacer ni en pareja ni en grupo, sino que será individual. En su cuaderno pueden ir anotando las ideas eh, para responder esas preguntas y luego comparamos. I'll give you time.
Are you done? Have you finished? Do we have a volunteer for number one? What do you think surveillance is considered spooky? What do you think? What is your opinion? Do you consider it spooky? Do you need more time? Yes, teacher. Okay, good.
Okay, um, I'm going to stop sharing so we can check attendance. And after that, we are going to share your answers with the previous exercise. So, Abigail Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Okay. Abigail Mejia Mendoza. Present. Thank you. Balmore Alexander Marroquín. Present teacher. Thank you, Balmore. Carlos Emilio Coto Dueñas. Present teacher. Thank you. Carlos Humberto Estrada. Thank you, Carlos. Um, Cecilia Noemi. Present teacher. Thank you, Cecilia. Francisco Ernesto. Francisco Ernesto Acuña. Hazel Vanessa Mengíbar. Present. Thank you. Yulisa Yamilet Villalta. Yulisa Yamilet Villalta. Carla Ivania Anaya. Present teacher. Thank you, Carla. Catherine Beatriz Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you, Catherine. Please, Javier Castillo. Here, Miss. Thank you, Miss. Magdiel Esaú. Present teacher. I'm here. Marilyn Alejandra. Okay, Marilyn is the bueno, ya me comentó la situación. Marilyn sí que está por ahí. Así que no se preocupe, ahí la veo conectada todavía y pues ya, ya sabemos por qué pues no puede participar ahorita, so no worries. Mario Ernesto. Thank you. Melanie Alexandra. Present. Thank you, Melanie. Mirna Yanet. Present teacher. Thank you, Mirna. Santos Cristina. Present teacher. Thank you. And Victor Noé. Present. Thank you, Victor. Okay, I'll continue sharing the screen and you will share the answers that you have. So for number one, that's your personal opinion that is not in the reading, so I want to listen to you. Why do you people think surveillance is considered spooky? What do you think? Why do people think surveillance is considered spooky? Do you consider it same? Do you consider it spooky? Teacher, mm -hmm. I don't understand the question. Mm, it refers, um, um, if you consider that surveillance is like kind of a scary, Si ustedes consideran, o por qué piensa la gente, o por qué consideran que la vigilancia es un poco aterradora, un poco terrorífica. So in my case, yes, I think that being surrounded by cameras, knowing that someone behind the cameras is watching me, it, that doesn't feel like a comfortable thing, right? 
it's kind of stressful. What do you think? Because teacher, the the summarizing in, in general, generally, for me, because in in bad the personal environment, mm -hmm. in, in, environment private. Yeah. Is, uh -huh. So you you think to, you do not have any privacy, uh -huh. So it's it creates like a, a weird environment or atmosphere, like stressing because you you makes you feel that you lost your privacy. It's a good point, please. Anybody else? Teacher. In my case, I I don't like a uh, surveillance uh, every day, every time because I feel very stressful and I feel that uh, no confian in me. Um, uh, they don't they trust in you. They don't confide in you. Yes, in my case, I'm very responsible mm -hmm. uh, because I don't supervise every time. So I you don't, you're self-driving. I don't, I don't, uh, I think I, I'm not necessary for me. Okay. So you can say I'm um, self-driven. Así como se lo escribí en el chat. When you said that you're self-driven, es, es casi que literal, ¿verdad? No necesita que nadie le maneje. Usted sabe qué hacer, cómo hacerlo, y así lo hace. So, you don't need someone supervising that uh, you're doing your um, your task. So, yes, most of us, I'm sure that most of us are self frightened and probably in at some point you think that you don't need someone checking on you. Uh, I think especially in um, work environment, what can you stall? Can you stall the desk, <laughs> a pen, a pencil? So why, why are they doing that? And most of the cases is not necessary, but uh, being um, being realistic, there is plenty of uh, dishonest people, and because of that, uh, we have. <laughs> the surveillance the cameras in our offices and everywhere but yes thank you so much for your opinion is there anybody I else i think depend that the risk the risk the risk risk uh-huh the risk in, in the bien bien in english um the material goods Activo, mm -hmm. activos eh, the tribe eh, each person mm -hmm. yes it's the it's the employee in itself in many cases mm -hmm. in my case it's better to work with my plan in complaints eh, in metas and goals goals in compliance goal. You reach, okay, we say reach. My reach, uh -huh. alcanzar, ahí se lo estoy en el chat. Alcanzar okay. mis metas, reach my goals, or to reach my objectives, I can be them. That's another option. So you are committed to reach your goals. Thank you. Uh -huh. Como comprometida a cumplir 
sus objetivos es consigo misma. Mm -hmm. I share that. Uh, it's same here. <laughs> Thank you so much for your opinion. Is there anybody else who would like to discuss about the number one? Now, do you um, remember in number two, how many restaurants were part of the research? Was was installed at three three hundred ninety two restaurants. Excellent, please. That is the answer. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So three hundred and ninety two restaurants were part of the research. That is correct. Thank you so much, Liz. So do you consider it? It's a good quantity. 392 restaurants in 39 states, like part of the research, is considerable. Now, number three, what is the estimated cost of employee theft and fraud? Estimated at up to 200 billion. Yes, it's an estimate of 200 billion a year. Imagine that employee theft and fraud, it was estimated up to 200 billion in a year. So yeah, just, it's a big quantity of money, right? Now, number four, what is a fraud tactic used by bartenders? The, the bartender used the tactic take of me. This is, this is uh, the bartender offer one uh one round uh, free one offer the bartender offer one round free drink uh-huh okay how do you say a cambio how do you say a cambio so they expect to receive Esperando recibir, puede ser. Uh -huh, correct. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, expecting to receive. Expecting to receive a large tip. Uh -huh. so expecting. Expecting to receive a large tip. Uh -huh. And that is the meaning of take care of me. So I'm giving you this for free. What are you going to give me in exchange? Esa puede ser otra opción. In exchange, a cambio. In. Ahí se la puse en el chat. Okay. Yes. Okay, thanks. I give you something for free, but you take care of me. Give me something in exchange. And that something, customers knows it's a tip. If it's a large tip, much more better for them. <laughs> okay, that's good. Thank you so much for your participation. Now, hmm, number five, what was the increase of income after the installation of monitoring software? What was the amount of money that increased after that, after the installation of the monitoring software in the restaurants? Income per restaurant increased 
by an avalanche of how do you say 1982 1982 a week good so excellent i'm writing here 2000 Sería dos mil. Escriba en el chat. Nine hundred para los novecientos. Y la otra parte serían los ochenta y dos. Eighty two. Two thousand nine hundred eighty two dollars a week. It's not a month. A week. Imagine that, yes. So it's it's a very huge amount of money because this is per week. So per month is almost ten thousand dollars. Oh wow, yeah. So that's a big problem, right? We can say that it purchases a round of drinks, mm -hmm. but that round of free drinks. Uh, for each customer in every day, yes, it's a big amount of money at the end. So now number six, what was the change? Uh -huh. um, it's a restaurant should increment the wall, the server. So you think that the... Uh, that can be a solution to increase the wage, the salary? Yes. yes. Mm, mm, yeah, probably. But so, it, it, yeah, that, that can be one. Uh -huh. So they are happy with their salary. They will not have any need to, um, to give anything for free expecting a a large tip, so yeah, that can be good. They they could have done that just to avoid this uh, the the employee theft. Okay, so what was the change on behavior in staff after monitoring software was installed? They they choose a very good and honestly sales 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 practice. Mm -hmm. They they change right, so they they get back to some practices that are not ethical. Mm -hmm. So yeah, at the end, uh, they 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 always find a way to have the customers, um, giving them large tips, like for example, prompting them to have an extra or second dessert or second beer, and yes, in that way, they they continue telling the customer, "I'm doing something good for you. What are you going to do for me?" <laughs> so yes, and that is not ethical. But anyways, so you did a very good job with this. Um, and a good thing is that we are practicing our speaking, which is very important. We are learning new vocabulary. So that's our objective. And I think that we did it here. So nice. Thank you so much for um, joining in this discussion. And we have another exercise here, and this is a building vocabulary exercise. And most of these words were in the reading. So I think that we can match the words to their meaning. Um, if it is necessary, you can go back to the reading and maybe by the, um, the context, you can guess what is the meaning of work. But I think it's not going to be necessary. I think that you can do it. So what are the words that we have here? It's number one, 
surveillance. Number two, reassure. Number three, behavior. Number four, theft. Five, wait. Six, tip. And seven, spoken. And we have the definitions in the other side. The way someone acts, the action or crime of stealing, the amount of money paid to an employee, something that causes fear or nervousness, to remove someone's doubts and fears, the act of watching someone closely to detect a crime, to give a small amount of money to someone who has provided a service. So I think that you can do this real quick. You can do this matching exercise either in your notebook or using the material that you download from the platform. And give it time and then we check. Okay, would you like to share the number one? The high guard. Number one, surveillance. The high bird. The act of mm -hmm. watching some, someone closely. A crime. Excellent, Abigail. That is correct. Surveillance is the act of watching someone closely to detect a crime. Thank you so much. Number two. To remove someone doubts and fears. 
Yes, that is correct. Excellent. Thank you so much. Number three. why someone acts correct maria excellent behavior is the one someone acts number four the action of crime of staying excellent thank you so much Amelia. it's the action or crime of stealing number five The amount of money paid to iron pay. Excellent, Maria. Thank you so much. Number six. To, to give a small, a small amount of money. Yes. To give a small amount of money to someone who has provided a service. Being number seven, which is spooky, something that causes fear or nervousness. That is spooky. So you did a very nice job here with this vocabulary. And remember that this is also in the exercise in the platform. And again, uh, vamos a... Um, Hacer uh, otra repetición de lo que ya había mencionado al principio. Por favor, trabajen en la plataforma. La mayoría pues van al día. Y recuérdense que los jueves se hace, um, se hace un chequeo del avance. Y pues antes de la clase, pues revisé y todavía hay personas, un par, no son muchos, que todavía no han trabajado ni la sección 1 de sus ejercicios. Así es que pues nuevamente la invitación a que se pongan al día, trabajen sus ejercicios, trabajen la plataforma y cualquier duda, pregunta o problema que tengan, estamos eh, a un chat para ayudarles. Eh, now, in exercise 5, to continue with this topic, and I think this is the last exercise of section number 3, and uh, it is write a 10 line paragraph to say whether you are in favor or against employee surveillance at your workplace. State at least three reasons to support your position. If you are in favor, that's okay. Um, give us three reasons because of what you're in favor or if you're against it, same support your ideas. I'll give you time for you to write. And remember, you can do it in your material that you download, or you can take notes in your notebook and then share with the class.
to finish. Okay, and you ready to share? Okay. In the company, in the company, it's very important that surveys because the company has more than fifty hundred employees. And number two, the company has a lot of, of expensive inventory. Number three, the company has a security camera in the outside the building in case any employees is at the um referring a delinquent attack. Okay, so that means that you are in favor of surveillance in your company. Sorry. A delinquent attack. Yeah, too many people working there. You have uh, some goods that people might like to stall. So, yes. Okay, very good, Abigail. Thank you so much for sharing. Is anybody else ready to share? What's your opinion? Are you in favor or against? Anybody else would like to share? Richard. Yes, Liz? I, I am in favor of employee surveillance because first, we should check throughout the playback, the surveillance system, any event or issue that we have. Number Right. Second, we use this this technology to apply to our profession. For example, in a store, we should a camera that support heat map. And with camera, we can see the preferred areas for our customers. And the third, because I am working when sales server the system. <laughs> ah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you are the seller, you must be in favor. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. That's the the very best reason to be in favor of surveillance. And yes, it's if uh, you said something very important that it is useful when you want to know or you want to investigate in regards of something or for example, who is still in uh, something, right? Or well, if something disappeared from the company or from whatever the, uh, the system is, you can go ahead and check it and discover, yeah, find correct, out. Correct. And yes, it is important not only for businesses, not only for companies, but also at home. Um, I have a friend of mine, uh, she has a surveillance cameras at home. And uh, when I visit, I tend to feel like a little uncomfortable because at the, what are they having cameras for? But she explained to me that um, she doesn't have a babysitter and she has, um, well, a teenager. Her son is a teenager. So yes, uh, the, the boy is left alone in home. So she's just checking just to make sure that he's not doing inappropriate things at home or, um, getting in with some people at home, uh, inviting people at home. So yes, it can be useful. I, I, I consider in the future, I will have surveillance at home because you know that sometimes I like, I'm out of the house, I start to drive and I'll, I'm at the gate and I said, did I turn the kitchen off? Did I? <laughs> So I get back home and check. And I think I could do that with a camera or surveillance or the surveillance system, just checking if everything is okay at home. So yes, why not? So thank you so much, Liz. And uh, 
Well, now you know, if you know a uh, surveillance system, you have a contact here. <laughs> <laughs> anybody else? Or anybody else like to share the paragraph, your opinion about surveillance? Only two participants. Nobody else wants to share? You were writing your paragraph and now you don't want to share. <laughs> or you didn't write them? Okay, no problem. So we'll continue and uh, well, as I told you before, this is the uh, last part of section number three. So now we're going to stop talking about surveillance for a little while, and we will move on to a different um, unit. So that's unit number four. And in this, as you can see, we're going to be discussing about personal training, okay? And we will be identifying some training opportunities for personnel at the workplace. Now, to start, we have a question here. How do you identify the areas of opportunity that require personal training? Are there a lot of training opportunities in your workplace? I'm going to give you time for you to respond those two questions and then we will check. Let's answer the questions in part number one, and then we will check. You will have five minutes to answer the two questions.
Have you finished responding the two questions? A volunteer to share, have you finished? Me teacher. Thank you, Matthew. Um, I think the first question it's the pen of the of the process that person is in charge. And look at the behavior of the people to give you give you any opportunity the the training person but if uh if one one person is is uh, how do you say it? irresponsible and responsible and responsible i think uh, is not um no sé cómo decirle no es no vale la pena, quizás. It's not worth. It's not worth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not. That is all. Okay, I wrote it in the chat. I escribí con algo. Okay, thank you. Works or it is not worth. And the second one in, in my workplace, there are any any opportunity there are the... many or there aren't any mm, eh. <clears throat> many algunas there's some training opportunities from time to time okay and uh, what kind of trainings do you receive what um... type of training I received training about the the um, shirt and rescue for uh, in case of the the the, the, the emergency of the terremoto, uh, curso de rescate. Oh, so uh, rescue curve in case of any like. Um, natural disasters such as yeah. earthquake. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's interesting to know what to do during an earthquake. Earth earthquake. I saw you in the chat. That's a terremoto earthquake. Earthquake. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, teacher. You're more than welcome. Any other volunteer to share their responses for that question? Okay, no more volunteers. Okay, so thank you so much for your participation, Matthias. So uh, we have a conversation here about um i guess that they are going to talk about training opportunities or training issues so let's see let's find out this is a conversation between alex and rick i'm going to read the conversations uh, as we don't have audios it says the dishwasher i hired a month ago wants to know how to get promoted he asked me about training opportunities. Oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule the server's training for next month and one for cashiers. Performance is the month was not so good. Some customers complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, 
I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay, that was the conversation. So is there any question about vocabulary? ¿Cómo se pronuncia la primera palabra dishwasher? Dishwasher, ajá. Uh -huh. Dishwasher. Any other question? And and the third paragraph, uh, let's identify their skills in. Okay, let's no, identify knowledge. their uh -huh. skill and knowledge. 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 Mm -hmm. knowledge. Conocimiento, habilidades, Conocimiento. skill and knowledge. Conocimiento. Any other question? This washer is lava platos. Yes, eh, así se le llama a los lavaplatos, ya sea máquina o humano, dishwasher. Thanks. You're welcome. Any other question? Yeah. Okay, so let's practice the conversations in the breakout rooms. Remember that this conversation is on page 33 of your material. I'm going to stop sharing and create a breakout room so that you can practice for a while with your classmates and then we're going to role play in the main section. So practice as many times as you can and then we will check. Hola. We are going to practice the conversation. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Yes. Could you share the... Ah, no, no, no puedo. Teacher, no puedo compartir. Give me one moment. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't. Um, okay, now you are able to share. Okay. Yeah, yes. <clears throat> can you see it? Yes, I can. Okay.
but uh, some customers complain about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think service need a good training. Let's identify their skill and knowledge so we can include everything they need in the training. Next to that, and don't forget, we have to evaluate, evaluate the service after the training. Okay. Next, go okay. with Magdi. Identify. And Alex, la penultima, la ultima. Identify. De uh -huh. Identify. Excellent. Okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Are you rich or no, are you Alex? Uh, Alex, uh, okay. the, this word, see, I mean Alex. Yeah. The, this, the dishwasher I hired at Mon ago wants to know how to get promoted. Uh, he asked me about training opportunities. Oh, very good. You see, I want to schedule a server training for next month. And I have and one for cashier. Performance this month was not so good. Some some customer complained about having to wait for too long. Yes, I think servers need a good training. Let's identify their skills and knowledge so we can include everything they they need it, they need in the training. Let's do that. And don't forget we have to evaluate the servers after the training. Okay, very good. Excellent. Uh, just in the first, Alex, and I hired a hired. 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 Uh-huh. Excellent. And uh, promoted. Promoted. And that's it. You did it excellent. Continue practicing. Okay. Okay, number two. What did a customer complain about? I think have, having to wait for too long for me. Oh, that was that one. Okay, you got it. Number three, what stuff we receive charging? The server and cashier, cashiers. Okay. What steps will Alex and Rick take for the training? I think let's identify the skills and knowledge. Yeah, I see that you were practicing. So time is almost over. Just let me check attendance. I'm going to read the ones that I don't be um able to register in the beginning. Francisco Ernesto. He didn't join the meeting today. And that's the only one. I see that same here. Okay, the same amount of people. Okay. So everyone's being registered. 
and this is the same this part, okay? So, um, todos los que están acá, ya los chequeé, ya su segundo chequeo, el único que pues, creo que no se conectó el día de hoy fue Francisco Ernesto y los demás, pues, gracias. Thank you so much for your attendance and see you tomorrow. You're welcome, Catherine. Thank you, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow, Good teacher. Good night, teacher. Have a good night, teacher. You do the same. Good night. Thank you so much. See you. See you. Bye.